So bonam gani, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Let's look at the verb bala. Bala is to write. Bala. To write or to write an examination. Now what noun comes from the verb bala? If we put isi before that noun and we drop the vowel a at the end of the verb, then we will have isibalo. Isibalo. Isibalo is a scripture. The plural is izibalo. Izibalo. So scriptures. Listen to this one. Umbalo. 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 That's singular. That's a document, a writing, or scripture. The plural is imibalo, imibalo, imibalo. So scriptures, documents, or writings. Here's another noun. Umbali, umbali, umbali. That's a writer or an author. The plural is ababali, ababali, ababali. So writers or authors. We've taken this verb, bala, as is. If we remove that last A of this verb, it is just so free for us to play around with it. If we want to make an occupation, for example, so someone who does the thing, as in to write, then we will put um at the beginning of that verb and i at the end of the verb. So we are adding a prefix and a suffix. And now we have umbali, umbali. And then, of course, people who start with the prefix um, the plural is aba. So then we have Abba Bali, Abba Bali. Those are writers or authors. Now that is class one of nouns. Let's look at a different class. Class two. Class two we know the singular is um, the prefix, and the plural prefix is imi. Now here we do have um, and then we put in our verb that we've stripped the a remember and now we have umbalo we put in the o at the end umbalo and now this is a document so it's no longer just the verb to write bala it's no longer the author or the writer umbali it's now a document umbalo now to make it plural we've already said that this is a thing and it's in class two so the plural is then imibalo, imibalo, so writings, scriptures, documents. Now here is another one, isibalo. That's now a class four noun, isibalo. So it's also a scripture, but it's only a scripture. Isibalo, the singular, so we've just put in isi at the end beginning so the prefix and then the plural will then be easy easy balo so those are scriptures so if i say to you isi balo sitholakala unwadi yesambulo isahluko sesithathu isahlukwana sesibili so then you will know that i am saying this scripture is found in the book of revelations chapter 3 verse 2. So that one is only scripture. Isibalo, isibalo. I hope you've enjoyed this, friend, the connection between a verb and the nouns that stem from it. Usalega